Hey Broadway.com, this is Andrew Veenstra with the Broadway National Tour of War Horse again. And today we're going to talk about all things music. We're going to talk about the incredible music that makes up War Horse. Now I, you know, am not an expert on this, so we should probably talk to a few people who are. And it looks like that horse is drinking out of the mug. Oh! I mean... War Horse. I can hear some music now. Let's see if we can catch somebody in the act here. Oh, there he is. There he is. Nathan Cosey, our accordionist extraordinaire. Look at this. Um, all right, so what, what's, what's unique about the music of War Horse? Uh, the best thing about War Horse is it's all steeped in traditional English folk music. So John Tams, the song maker, uh, wrote some songs in the style of old songs, I believe. And then some songs are actually just traditional folk songs. And he's kind of the Alan Lomax of England and kind of knows a gazillion tunes and knows where they came from and what town they came from. And I think he was a, such a neat person to have uh, you know, collected a lot of songs as well as then added some of his own to the to the score. So it's all it's all of the the time in which it uh, is supposed to be. Play us a little something they would have been hearing and jamming out to uh, late nights in the pubs in 1914 uh, Devon, England. <laughs> Oh, yes! Hi! Hello! Oral hygiene is an important part of the war horse <laughs> life, is it Absolutely. not? Absolutely, it's very important. Which is actually contradictory to the life of 1914 Devon, England, I would imagine. This would have been coal if we were in Devon in That's 1914. That's right, they would have been brushing their teeth with coal. Instead of um, Tom's Maybe a stick made. if we were lucky. <laughs> so we've got Catherine Gowell and we've got Megan Loomis here. We're talking about music today. Mm, we just oh. visited Mr. Nathan Cosey, who gave us a beautiful accordion demonstration. What can you tell us about the War Horse music and what makes it so special? Mm, well... Oh, nice! <laughs> That's nice. In order not to embarrass myself, the War Horse music, well, it's very special because it comes from the land, mm -hmm. and so much of the show is about the land. And um, next, and I think that it really ties everything together. It's, um, and we're also, we all, I think, as humans, are really connected by um, music is a great way of storytelling, and I think that it adds an incredible through line between the live music that happens and the, um, the scoring done by Adrian Sutton. I think it just makes whole experience much grander. The shepherds bend the knee, and all are wrapped in grace, and all are gifted mirth. Peace walks upon this blessed land, good will upon all earth. And you couldn't smell it, but there was a minty freshness that was coming <laughs> from your mouth to my direction. Did I see? I did. I saw Mr. Milicic. Hey. This is our song man. This is the person to talk to about music. Oh, you shaving for, before the show? Uh, That's good. Some. That's good. You gotta shave that up. Shave that neck. Nathan and I had a chance to, to get over to, to England and, and study a little bit. It's true. Yeah. Tell me about that. We, um, I guess what, what we decided was that like if we didn't go over there and, oh, and really so. take it in from where like the, the source was, not just like the writing, but the source of the, the, the tradition, uh, we wouldn't have known what we had missed, it's true. but uh, it wouldn't be the same. Like we, we really got in touch with something special over there, and uh, and it's like the real deal that's that's in the show. Yeah, there we go. Mm, shave my face every day for wars. The audience will know if I had some stubble today. Okay, 
So they've called half hour. We have to get ready, we have to go. I'm already changing. But I did get these two wonderful musical people here, Nathan and Milosic, to come and sing a little ditty to say goodbye to Broadway.com. Take it away. Warhorse and Broadway.com